Hi, I'm John Barber, Editor-in-Chief at IDW Publishing, and welcome to Barber's Shop. Where were you 30 years ago? Maybe literally nowhere, right? I certainly did exist, but I don't remember where I was on the specific date of June 23rd, 1991 probably celebrating the second anniversary of the Batman movie because, yes, I still know the release date. While I don't know what I was doing that day in 1991, I do remember the first time I saw a certain blue hedgehog at my friend Colin Bishop's house, where his brothers were on their Sega Genesis playing the first Sonic the Hedgehog game. I believe I was terrible at it. I didn't pass it until about three years ago, and that was, don't tell anybody, with save states. I mean, the underwater level, right? But anyway, 1991. Little did any of us know what a massive impact Sonic would have, not just on video games, but on culture in general. Honestly, I can't think of any other character that originated in video games that's had such a lasting and powerful legacy in other mediums. Animation, of course, toys, clothes, film nowadays, and relevant to what I'm about to talk about here, comics. Sonic comic books have been really important to a whole lot of people for a whole long time us at IDW included. So we jumped at the chance to play a role in this landmark month, celebrating 30 years since Sonic's June 23rd, 1991 debut. All through June, we're dropping a new Sonic comic or collection every week. First up, we've got Sonic the Hedgehog Bad Guys, a new paperback collecting the four-issue limited series by Ian Flynn and Jack Lawrence, colored by Leonardo Ito. Dr. Starline needs the help of some of Sonic's greatest enemies, but can he get Mimic, Ruff, Tumble, and Zavik to work together long enough to accomplish his nefarious goals? Then, Sonic the Hedgehog number 40 wraps up the Test Run story arc by Evan Stanley. Evan's writing and drawing and is joined on art by Adam Bryce Thomas with some Sonic All-Stars pitching in for inks and, and colors uh, as Belle finally comes face to face with her creator. Next up is Sonic the Hedgehog number 41, featuring the return of writer Ian Flynn to the main Sonic book. Don't worry, Evan's returning soon, with Adam Bryce Thomas back on art and Matt Herms coloring. This is part one of Zeddy Hunt, featuring the return of the Deadly Six. Next, on June 23rd, 30 years to the day since Sonic's debut, IDW is proud to present the Sonic the Hedgehog 30th anniversary special, featuring 80 pages of all new comics, featuring for the first time at IDW, classic Sonic. We've got a giant 60 page tale, Seasons of Chaos, written by Ian Flynn, that guy gets around a lot, and drawn by Aaron Hammerstrom, Thomas Roethlisberger, and Tracy Yardley, with additional inks by Reggie Graham and Matt Frosey and colors by Reggie. But that's not all in the anniversary special. We also have the Sonic debut, of internet and podcasting legends and graphic novel writing legends, Clint, Justin, Travis, and Griffin McElroy, creators of, among a million other things, Adventure Zone. They're joined by new artist Mauro Fonseca and colorist Valentino Pinto to write the somewhat self-explanatorily titled Sonic Learns to Drive. Plus, celebrate Dr. Eggman's birthday with Babysitter's Club writer-artist Gail Galligan, Thomas Roethlisberger, and Natalie Fordrain. Gail's making her Sonic debut here as well, but you'll be able to catch up uh, to the same creative team later this summer in this year's free comic book day Sonic issue. And I have a funny feeling we haven't seen the last of Gail writing Sonic. Now here's a fun thing you'll wanna watch for in the 30th anniversary special. Mauro Fonseca coordinated with the other artists on this comic to make sure every single classic Sonic game gets visually referenced in some way. When Sonic editor David Marriott mentioned that to me, I asked, even the Game Gear games? And then David way one up to me. Well, the whole Sonic group one up to me by pulling out some much more obscure games that got referenced because of course they thought of the Game Gear games. Finally, because there are five weeks of shipping books and comics in June, we round out the month with Sonic the Hedgehog, the IDW Collection, Volume 1. This is a beautiful, oversized hardcover reprinting the first 12 issues of the IDW Sonic series by, well, by a lot of the folks I already mentioned. If you're familiar with our Transformers or Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles IDW collections, you'll know what you're getting into here. But if you aren't, uh, these are the ultimate presentations of these comics, the sort of things you'll want to keep on your shelves for generations. Sonic Generations. 
Anyway, that's two issues of Sonic the Hedgehog, the Bad Guys Collection, the 30th Anniversary Special, and the first IDW Collection, all coming this month. All edited by David Marriott and Riley Farmer, and all 440 pages I just talked about were lettered by Sean Lee. And seriously, we're just getting warmed up with Sonic. We've got Free Comic Book Day coming, then the countdown to issue 50, and right after that, I don't know about you, but there's a certain film I'm really looking forward to, but I can't talk about any of that stuff yet. So visit the IDW website or your local comic book or bookstore and check them all out. And as always, let's use this time to connect and keep the IDW community active. That's all for this week. Remember, you can keep up with IDW on social media and check back here for news and updates. Thanks for watching.